When we think about classical physics, and by classical, I mean the physics that predates the introduction of quantum mechanics in the 20th century, the space of states is every arrangement of those bodies in space and their velocities. A Hilbert space is a mathematical abstraction of this idea. Rather than the arrows in three-dimensional space, in a Hilbert space, the elements are abstractions of arrows called vectors. And the number of dimensions depends on the kind of system. For a qubit, a single qubit has a Hilbert space that's two-dimensional. The perpendicular directions in this space correspond to what the qubit is like, up or down or on or off. But for more complicated systems, the Hilbert space can be very high dimensional. Hilbert spaces also incorporate the complex numbers. There are a couple of other mathematical ingredients you need, but the textbook postulates or axioms of quantum mechanics take the Hilbert space as the basic set of possibilities out of which all the other mathematical ingredients 